How y'all doing? This is Brother Will, aka Quiet Storm. Uh, this is the first week of January. I'm doing a 52 week challenge. Um, challenging myself personally. Uh, what I'm going to do is for every week in the year, I'm going to bring at least one uh, motivational, really like an inspirational, faith based, you know, message and put it out there on the social media. Um, just a short teaching, nothing too long and drawn out, okay? So y'all hold me accountable to, the, uh, to that. Uh, first topic, and it, like I said, it may be a series, but right now, first topic I'm going to talk about is be fear as a comfort zone. Alright, so I'm going to come from two different aspects of it. I'm going to come from a positive and a negative of fear being the comfort zone. Let me hit you with the first definition I'm going to use. Uh, like I said, we're going to make this real quick. Uh, definition number one, an unpleasant or strong emotion caused by anticipation or awareness of danger. That's key, anticipation or awareness of danger, right? Quick point. Now, some people, they don't move or they get paralyzed by fear. And what happens is when you stay in a position for so long, you know, even though you want to move, you desire to move, you get comfortable and it becomes your comfort zone. Uh, perfect example, say that you're on the job and you have this business venture that you want to do. But because you know that on your job you're going to get a check every week or every two weeks and you can get your uh, bills paid and you know you're going to have just that, a job, you're going to be just over broke because they're just going to give you enough, you know, to, to, to barely make it. But because of that, you get comfortable in the fact knowing that, hey, I got an apartment, I got my car payment, I can go out to eat every now and then. You're comfortable in that position because you know that you can meet certain basic needs, you know. But everything inside of you is telling you that you need to go forth and you need to move and do some other things. So that that's a comfort zone that some people are in. Now... Some people, I'll say a lot of people, they don't move, you know, because of anticipation, you know, because it, it may not even be any real threat, you know, it's just I'm anticipating the threat. Some people are afraid of, you know, losing their home or losing their spouse, you know, of course, loss of income, loss of friends and family, just losing certain lifestyles. Some people are actually afraid of being successful and so that's what makes them comfortable now one thing that I've learned you know in, in my life in particular is that it has never been as bad as I thought like every time I was anticipating like man this is gonna be so hard this is gonna be like oh I don't know how to make it through it's never been that bad you know I've just been afraid of the what-ifs you know, I'm going through all these scenarios in my head like, <clears throat> what if this happened? What if that happens? And it never does, you know. And, and when you step out in boldness, when you step out of your comfort zone and uh, step out of fear, I mean, it's, it's no telling what you can achieve, you know. Uh, second point, well, which I already said, that people, you know, they become comfortable with the, the what ifs, you know. Um, They'd be like, the, the, there's a person that the Bible describes in Proverbs. He was like, I can't go outside. I can't go out there to work because there's a lion roaming out in the streets. Now, granted, everybody else is going to work. Everybody else is, you know, going on about their business. But why is it that you're going to stay in your house? You're going to stay in this comfortable position because you're saying that there's a lion out there or you heard that there's a lion out there. <clears throat> so, like I said, that that's the quick point of that, being in that comfort zone to where, you know, you're just getting your needs met and, and things like that. And, and, you know, you're not moving. You're not really stretching yourself. You're not challenging yourself at all. All right. Comfort zone number one, which that was the negative side. But now the good, uh, good side of the comfort zone, I'm going to use the second definition and it's called a profound reverence and an awe, especially towards God. All right? And the point that I made about that, the Bible says that the fear of God is the beginning of wisdom. 
So now if you fear God and if you get in a uh, comfort zone to where because I'm afraid of God and what he may do to me or, you know, just the fact that I love him and reference, reverence him, not that I'm afraid of God or anything, but the fact that I reverence him, I'm going to listen to him and I can take comfort in the fact that he's not going to lead me in the wrong direction. He's not going to lead me astray because he always has my best my best uh interest at heart um and basically yeah like you can get comfortable in the fact that saying you know what i'm going to listen to you know that that voice of god that you know that that thing that you hear on the inside of you that's pushing you forward you know some people may call it a conscious or whatever you want to call it that's like the presence of god that's god leading you so he puts all of the, the, the passions and the purposes and all of that stuff, he put it inside you for a reason. So I just want to encourage everybody to get in that comfort zone to where you're comfortable uh, doing the things that God is leading you to do, comfortable doing those things that are in your heart and, um, you know, that God is leading you to do. All right, so that's week number one. I uh, look forward to something else next week. It, I may stay on the comfort zone. You know, I may expound on that a little bit more. I may come with something different. You know, you never know. So, week one of the 52-week challenge. Again, this is Brother Will, a.k.a. Quiet Storm. Thank y'all for listening.